Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing a bike light from a company called Spolite and they were just nice enough to send this out to me. So this is a, I want to say it's over 2,000 lumens uh, bike light and just picked this up on Amazon. So I'm gonna get this thing out of the box. I'm gonna flip my camera around just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll get it unboxed because that's what I do. I unbox things for you guys. And then you can make up your decision uh, based on my review. And then later on after the sun goes down, we'll get it on my bike and I'll do some night riding uh, just to show you how bright this thing really gets. All right, so here you go. Here is the Spolite. And let's get this thing unboxed. So there's your light right there. So here's your Spolite right here. Bam, Spolite. On off button on the back, three different indicators. I like these mounts where they screw into the battery pack because they're a screw mount. So it has a little O-ring right here and that's what's gonna keep the water out. But then it has this other little cap that goes over it and screws in place. So that's really gonna help secure the connection. It is a dual beam setup. Nice little heat sinks on the side there. That's gonna help keep things cool. There's your mount. A little rubber mount on the bottom there, so that's going to help, especially if you have carbon bars. Uh, you don't want it to scratch the, the bars or the surface. And it looks like it's going to have some uh, stretchy kind of rubber band mount. So we'll put that off to the side, see what else comes in the box. You have your charging cable, must have, with the little LED or little light right there. It just tells you how much, uh, how long the battery is going to take to charge. You have your user's manual gotta have that here's your battery bank from what I can read here this looks like a 5200 milliamp battery bank at least that's what it looks like right there it might be 57 but it looks like 5200 milliamp battery bank it does have little rubber pads right here once again help protect the frame you don't want it to scratch the frame here's your rubber mount a little stretchy mount for the for the handlebars so this kind of goes along the front here just like that, and then that goes around and pops in place. So that's what's gonna go around your handlebars and keep it all nice and secure and not move around. It also came with a Velcro strap. So the way this is gonna work is this is gonna go through here, through here, and that's gonna wrap through here, your frame, just like that. And then that's gonna go around and secure the battery bank to the either the handlebars, the, the neck, or the frame, depending on where you wanna go. And as I said, when you hook this bad boy up, this kinda pops into place, and then this guy screws in to really secure that connection. I've been riding before at night where like a branch will catch it and it'll pull your light out. Uh, this is a really cool little feature because that's gonna help keep the, uh, the light secure on the battery bank, which is what you want. And then what you do, see there's your connect, there's your, Indicator right there, so it has some power to it. Turn it on. And we hit it again. It gets even brighter. And even brighter one more time. And then it goes down to off. So three on. On, low, medium, high, and then off. Push and hold it. It goes into strobe. Push it again, it goes back into low, medium, high. And while it's on, if you push and hold it, does the same thing, goes into strobe. Now this thing does have a T6 aviation grade aluminum housing, which is really, really nice. So at max lumen, it is rated to 2200 lumens, um, which is pretty bright. It does have a Cree XML2, um, dual Cree XML2 LEDs in here. Really nice little design here. I like the uh, reflector. They are smooth reflectors. It's also IP66 rated, so it is weather resistant. So if you get caught out in the rain, it's gonna be fine. If you get this thing submerged, probably not so much, but I don't think you're ever gonna really submerge a bike light. But keep that in mind, if you get stuck out in the rain, you're gonna be fine. All right, so we're gonna get this thing on my bike and we're gonna make sure the battery is fully charged. And then we'll get outside tonight and do a little bit of night riding and I'll show you how bright this thing really gets. Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with trailermountain.com and today, or tonight rather, I am uh, doing a little bit of night riding on uh, my mountain bike and I have the Spolite 2200 lumen bike light with me and I have it mounted to my handlebars right now so I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna show you how bright this thing really gets. Hit the button, goes on to low, 
hit it again, it goes to medium, and again it goes into high, and that's full on 2200 lumen right there. So I'll just kind of stand in front of it just so you can see how bright this thing actually does get. This is full on 2200 lumen. It's super bright. This, this bike light is definitely bright. I will say that I've, I have tested other bike lights that were around 2000 lumens and it seemed like they were a little brighter, but for what it is, this light is actually pretty bright. I'll move this over here just so you can kind of see the spot. Let's go right here. That's full on 2200 lumen. You turn it off. Turn it on, there's low, there's medium, and then that's high. So, pretty cool. And then if you push and hold it, it goes into strobe. Just like that. Push and hold it again. It goes back. So low, medium, high, push it again, turns it off. Pretty simple. All right guys, so that's my review of the BL26. This is the bike light from Spolite, and this is available on Amazon. I'll leave the link down in my description box down below if you wanna um, purchase one of these for yourself. They're pretty inexpensive, and for what you get, it's actually pretty good. So as I said, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website, so I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.